Okay, today we're going to be talking about a compass. And I'm going to go ahead and show you a one that's called a Statler compass. But you should have seen something uh, like this before. And it's, it's basically, it has uh, two arms that are connected at the top. One of them is usually a pointed end, and one has a pencil in it. Now, if I try to draw something with this particular uh, compass, well, this particular one, actually that pencil's not working very well. Let me grab a, uh, another one here. And, and what I want to show you really is that it does have a second arm that, I mean, you can put something on. So I've just put another pencil that's gonna work for me and we can draw circles. That's the main purpose of a compass, to draw circles or arcs. And you have a, a radius, whatever this length is, that would be the radius of your circle. Now, if you're looking at this and you're thinking in terms of a low vision student, I, I'm, I, you probably can see this quite well with a camera, but most students would like to use something other than a pencil. What's nice about a Statler or any compass, what you want is to be able to pull uh, up this particular item either off or be able to insert a larger tool. So this is the thing that I'm most interested in. If we put this in, what I'm hopefully you can notice is it's got a large opening here. So you can put maybe something like a ballpoint pen. When I was growing up, everything you have, we, all we have are these little cheap ones that you just put a pencil in. And now this, this is large enough that you can have a pen. So let's see how this might look. Is this going to look any, any better? Well, it might be a little darker, but that's still, that's still looking very much like the pencil. Now, so you might want to go with something even a little wider. But now let's see if this will go in. I don't think this will. So I'm going to, I'm going to try it, but I'm, I'm thinking, you'll notice that this is a little too wide. So this is, this is, this is a good size. Let me see if I can get that to where you can see that hole again. Um, but it's not large enough for this Sharpie. What you're looking for for your student is some type of a compass that has some type of adaptation that it will take the pen that your student prefers. So what we're going to do is go to another compass, which is called a Fiskars compass. Now this particular one has a pointed end, but I'm going to point out that this is a rubber tip instead of a very, very stabby. You'll notice otherwise I'd be going ouch, ouch. This is rubber tipped and this one is a little safer in the school system and I think you can take this on an airplane with you. So what we're going to do, try there, is we can go ahead and put that ballpoint pin in. So the ballpoint pin fits. Let me tighten it up. Oops, got to hold on to that. But again, that's not very, very uh, good uh, width there for our uh, low vision students. So I'm going to go ahead and try that Sharpie and see if it will fit in there. Let me see if I can make sure that you can see how wide that is. Okay, so this Sharpie should go right in there. And let's see if that will fit. If this one's Okay, this one's going to open up wide enough, and you're going to be able to put that Sharpie in there. So this might be something that your low vision student prefers. It's getting a little it's getting a little thicker line. But some of you may say, well that's still not thick enough for my particular student. And again, what you want to do is find the compass that fits your student's favorite pen. Now here's an even wider Sharpie and for sure this one, if the smaller one, the thinner one wouldn't fit in uh, to this Statler compass, this certainly wouldn't uh, fit. But let's try the Fiskars. Again, I'm going to try to show you how wide or how large a diameter that is. So we're going to slide this wider Sharpie in. Now some students won't like a Sharpie. They, probably, they may prefer 20-20 or something else. But uh, we're going to show you this with a little bit wider Sharpie. And let's see if, what we think about that. Ah, okay, so now we're getting, we're getting even, we're getting thicker yet. 